Hello, I am Wallace, the Polish toy guy, and today I want to show you what I like to do with my toys when I'm not reviewing them. That is, taking pictures of them, and this is the first experimental episode of my series that, for now, I'm going to simply call Toy Photography. I'm not talking about simple pictures when I just put something on the set and take a picture, I mean slightly more artistic pictures when I try something more experimental, unusual, and because of that, today I want to show you how do I create my pictures that I call laser sketching. The example of them can be seen right now on your screen. It's basically putting your toy in a dark set and then, shall we say, spreading the beam of a laser pointer on it to see what results can we get out of such motions. I really like this technique, I like the effects, it's really nice for me to look at. And today I'm going to try to show you how pictures of this kind come to life. Today I decided to use my Modari T1, the newer red version, for this experiment because this toy has nice shapes that should work nicely with a laser pointer and also the exterior is quite shiny which also should help improve the final effect. And the way this is going to work, in a moment I will start recording with my phone so that I free up my main camera for taking the set pictures as usually I use that same device for photography and video recording. With that, I apologize in advance if the phone footage is a bit off in some way, this is the very first time I'm doing such a thing and hopefully with time we'll get better at it. Alright, so now I have switched to my phone camera while the main camera is being prepared for taking the picture. So here we have our Modari car, here we have our laser pointer and its beam, which is going to come in handy in a second. So, okay, I'm switching the camera into manual mode. For now, the shutter speed is 8 seconds and the aperture is 3.2. This means it's going to take a moment to take the picture, but as a result, the camera will swallow a lot of light, which will help considering that this beam, even in darkness, is not all that powerful of a light source. So, with that said, it's time to make a little blackout and see what's going to happen. So, one more time, this is the thing that I'm seeing with my main camera for the moment, with the last light on. And now it's time to go for dark. Okay, and now to use the second nice feature of this laser pointer, that is its torchlight function, because in my main camera I need the camera to actually see what it's taking picture of for it to establish the point of focus. So I'm putting some light so that the focus can, well, focus. Alright, and it's done, so now I can switch this off with the focus set. And now, oh wait, one more thing to do, I actually have to delay the picture for example by two seconds because the moment I release the trigger without that the small tremble that I'm causing may make the picture slightly shaky so okay two seconds right one more time focus line established let's do it and it's off and I'm smearing the entire figure with my laser beam which at this point looks more like a very irregular line. I'm trying to cover as much of the vehicle as possible. And it's done. And this is how our first picture looks. Quite nice in my opinion. So let's try doing this again with a different pattern. Focused established. Oh dear, and I forgot to actually set the timer again. Unfortunately, in my camera, I have to set it up again after each shot. But as you can see, that still gave us a nice picture of sorts. But let's try it again when it's done properly. Yes, set again. Focal point, uh, focus point. Yes. 
and two, one. Go, 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 go. If I, I'm actually hitting the thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now more circle patterns. All right. And now my camera needs uh, the same time of exposure to, shall we say, process the picture. Oh, that looks quite nice too. Okay, so one more try. Okay, setting the timer, right. Yes, and now, again, let's try something different. There we go. Okay, and now, diagonal. Whee! It's actually hard to precisely control your arm movement, so what I'm trying to do and what I actually do may be two different things. Right, so it's processing. Okay, okay, not bad, not bad. And maybe from the sides as the last attempt for today. Okay, so lights. Yep. Oh, timer. Okay, and let's give it a try from the sides. Zoom. Okay. That little bit means that it's done, so now let's wait for the results. Well, not as good as the previous ones, but it will do. And you can of course combine these effects with other things. You know what? <laughs> While we are here, let's do something as a bonus. So, okay, let's do it without the laser. Let's use the main torch feature. And maybe use both, because we can actually do that. So, okay. And, okay. Three, two. Attack. <laughs> I'm not sure what to expect from this one. But. We shall see. Yay. It's definitely fun to do. <laughs> okay, the results are almost in. Okay, that's interesting as well. So uh, this is something that actually takes a lot of practice to properly do. You not always get the effect you are aiming for, but still I find this a lot of fun as different types of toys work in different ways with this kind of idea. Oh, with the lights, please. <laughs> okay, that's the true bonus, but... Yes, if I sound like I'm having fun, that's because I am and that's the very idea of taking these pictures to have fun. All right, With, from different angles, how's that going to look? Right, so waiting while your picture is made. Oh, that's kind of nice. Not what I was aiming for today, but still looks kind of nice. All right, with that, I think it's time to switch the cameras on. Oh, the lights on. Right, right, right. So yes, that was fun and interesting for me and I definitely like taking slightly unusual pictures like that once in a while. It's a nice change of pace and experimenting, even if it makes you diverge from the standards you see every day, even a tiny bit, can be entertaining and rewarding, even when you don't get the exact results you aimed for. And of course, I could take several different approaches to today's session and probably end up with alternate results. But this is just a test video. If it clicks, there will be more occasions to have some fun with this and other ideas. With that said, I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it and I'd love to hear your opinion of this kind of recording in the comments. If I decide to make more of these, they will act as stand-ins between more conventional toy videos, but on my end, there's a definite hope to turn this at least into a semi-regular series, and I also hope it can be mutual. And that's all for this video. I will be back with the next one soon. And until then, stay well. Polish Toy Guy, signing out.